Sean Robeson. I'm looking at how modern CNC machine tools are really changing the game in automobile restoration with a couple examples. This is an oil tank for a Ferrari 512. It's a welded aluminum construction. Um, car's kind of built around the oil tank and you cannot buy new ones. Um, the tank here got this great big threaded bung in the bottom, aluminum. Big, th big plug that's threaded into it. And uh, over the years, you know, 40 some year old car, the, uh, the threads have gotten worn and shoed. Look how loose, look how loose this is. So the plug leaks, and in the final analysis, the plug stripped out. And uh, really not much you can do with it um, other than replace it. So how do we do that now? Well, this is kind of a one-of-a-kind, one-of-a-kind bolt. We can't put any kind of insert in there, but what we can do is we can actually take a piece of aluminum plate. We can use the CNC to cut um, a new threaded hole, and we can actually cut this tighter because it's an oil drain plug than a, a nut would be. We can cut that, and we can take this off and weld it on in its place. The CNC allows us to cut any size we want. And uh, when we cut a new one, look at the difference here. You saw how loose that was. Look at this now. Rock solid, there's no free play. And uh, you couldn't really achieve that any other way than by cutting special threads. And on a machine like the Haas here, this is really easy to do. When the machine cuts it, the hole is perfectly perpendicular, everything's flat, it's gonna seal, it's gonna work right. It's just, you know, it seems like a small thing, an oil drain plug, but boy, you know, if you don't have any oil drain plug in this thing, you cannot do a thing with this million dollar car. So it's a very, very important thing and a really cool skill and ability. Here's another thing that's really neat. These yellow fuel lines on these Ferraris, these things are kind of notorious for leaking when we run them on motorsports fuel now, because the motorsports fuel is like synthetic motor oil, it's leakier. And I'll show you why that is. So this is a fuel line fitting from one of those cars. Um, a 12 cylinder Ferrari from the 60s and 70s gonna have probably almost 30 of these fittings. And the fitting is actually made from four pieces. So we put it down here. This piece here, is a tapered, uh, like a spiral threaded tapered thing. Um, and it screws into the fuel hose and it, it kind of bites in. So that's made on a lathe. Then that's brazed to a nut that you can see here. And on the other side of the nut, you can see there is a tube brazed to that. And then the other end of the tube is brazed to this ring here that is a banjo fitting. And uh, so to put this on the car and use it, you have this, uh, this nut here that goes through the banjo fitting. So this piece, which comprises the end of the fuel line is actually made out of four pieces. And on a 50 year old car, all these brazed joints are leaking. So the brazed joints crack, fuel seeps out, and, and the worst thing is that this tapered, uh, tapered threaded part is a little too small to bite deeply enough into this fuel line to not leak. So what do we do for that? Well, this is a huge amount of work to make in the olden ways, but not today. Today, with the four axis CNC, we can start with a piece of stainless steel rod like this can chuck that into the machine and we can cut this. This is a finished fuel line fitting, all one piece. There's nothing to leak. And when I put it next to the other one, see how the new one is a little bit larger? So we can actually scale this dimension up by any dimension with any amount we want. So if we want this to be a tighter fit in the hose, we make it a little bit bigger. You couldn't do that in the days before CNC tooling. The idea that of this one here leaking and having to look for fittings that don't leak, 
There's nothing to leak on this. This is cut from a single piece of stainless steel rod, as you just saw. So it's just really totally a game changer, these new tools. And uh, we are very fortunate that we have a large enough shop that we can, you know, we can acquire tooling like this and run it. And, and of course, also that we have clients who bring us really special cars that merit this level of work. But it's a, a really, really cool thing. And uh, so there it is, just a couple examples of how CNC technology is changing the game with restoring these really fine classic cars.